Good morning, Kipsters, and welcome back to Read Aloud. Yesterday, we read a book called Koala Lu. And in this book, Koala Lu works really hard to prepare for her climbing contest. That means she practices a lot and she keeps trying even if things are hard. I want to know, when have you prepared for something hard just like Koala Lu? Hmm, think, think, think. When did you prepare for something hard? Was it when you studied for a sight word test so that you could get as many words right as possible? Mm, maybe. Was it when you tried to ride your bike with no training wheels and you prepared by practicing every day? Well, maybe. I want you to think of another time that you prepared to do something really hard. Think. Okay, tell me. Ready, set, go. Whoa, you must have been working so hard, just like Koala Lu. Now, today when we read Koala Lu, we're going to have a new job. Today, I'm still over here, your job is going to be to, to identify the setting of the book. That is where and when the story takes place. So we're going to play a game called Guess the Setting, and you're going to think about what place are they at, where are they, and when is it? Is it in the morning? Is it in the nighttime? Is it the winter? Is it the summer? All of those things describe the setting of the text. Okay, so here we go. What is the setting, Kipsters? What is the setting? Where are they? Yeah, they're at the beach. And when is it? Is it daytime, nighttime, winter, summer? You're so good at this. You're right. This setting is the beach in the daytime in the summer. Let's keep trying. What is the setting? What place is she at? Ugh, easy peasy, the grocery store. What is the setting? Oh yes, these Howard Bison are at school. I miss them so much. What is the setting? Where are we? Ooh, I'm getting hungry just thinking about it. At the ice cream shop. Now, great readers look at the pictures and the words to help them identify the setting in a story. So this is a couple pages from Pete the Cat, Rockin' in My School Shoes, where Pete goes to different places in the school. Now look at the picture, and I'm gonna read you the words to help you identify the setting where and when the story take place. It says, the playground. Kids are running in every direction. Does Pete worry? Goodness, no. He slides and swings and sings his song. So the words told us where is Pete, and the picture does too. What is the setting? You got it, it's the playground. I can tell because the word said, the playground the playground and I see a slide, I see swings, I see lots of animals playing just like you. So today when we read Koala Lu, your job is to identify the setting where and when the story take place. I think you're gonna be so good at this. Let's get started. The title of this book is Koala Lu. It's written by Mem Fox, and it's illustrated by Pamela Lofts. Now let's see, where is Koala Lu? There once was a baby koala, so soft and round that all who saw her loved her. Her name was Koala Lu. There she is. The emu loved her, the platypus loved her, and even tough little koala claws next door loved her. Look how tough and grumpy koala claws is. He still loves koala Lou. But it was her mother who loved her most of all. A hundred times a day she would laugh and shake her head and say, Koala Lou, I do love you. Whenever she stretched in the early morning sun, or climbed a gum tree, or bravely went down the path all by herself, her mother would smile and say, Koala Lu, I do love you. 
Let's look closely at the picture. What, where is Koala Lu? Where is she? We learned about that special tree in Australia yesterday. Yeah, she's in the gum tree and she's going down the path. That is the setting. The years passed and other koalas were born, brothers and sisters for Koala Lu. Soon, her mother was so busy she didn't have time to tell Koala Lu that she loved her. Although, of course she did. Every night as she curled up under the stars, Koala Lu thought about the times when her mother had looked at her and said, Koala Lu, I do love you. And she longed for her to say it again. One night, Koala Lu had a splendid idea. Preparations had begun for the Bush Olympics. She would enter the Olympics. She would compete in the gum tree climbing event and she would win. And her mother would fling her arms around her neck and say, Koala Lu, I do love you. Ooh, when I look at this picture, I notice the setting has changed a little bit because it's not daytime anymore. Look, the moon is coming down, so that means it is, yeah, nighttime. Koala Lu began her training right away. She jogged and puffed and lifted weights and panted. She hung from a branch with one claw at a time, at a time till she ached. She did push-ups till her stomach hurt, and last of all, she climbed the tallest tree that she could find over and over and over again. Hmm, let's look at this picture. How has the setting changed? Where are they now? And the sign says Bush Olympics, and I see a big field. Huh, where are they now? You're right, they're at the Olympic site. Sometimes her mother would watch her and ask, how are you going, Blossom? Fine, just fine, Koala Lu would reply. Ooh, look at her all the way at the top of that gum tree. Where is Koala Lu spending a lot of her time? What's the setting where she's spending so much of her time? You've got it, the gum tree. And she's spending so much time at the gum tree because she's working so hard so that she can be the fastest climber. At last, the day of the Bush Olympics arrived. Wow. Koala Claus had also entered the gum tree climbing event, and everyone knew how fast she was. But Koala Lu wasn't scared. She saw her mother in the crowd and imagined her saying again, Koala Lu, I do love you. Her heart filled with hope. It was Koala Claus who went first. Her climb was a record-breaking 22 meters in 70 seconds flat. The spectators whistled and cheered and wildly waved their party hats. Ooh, Koala Claus went so fast. Can I do better than that? wondered Koala Lu. Mm, I must. As she stepped toward the tree, a hush fell over the crowd. On your mark said the kookaburra. Get set, go! Koala Lu leapt onto the tree. Up and up and up she climbed. Higher and higher and higher. Faster and faster and faster. Until there she was, right at the very top. The spectators roared and clapped and stamped their feet. Oh, they are cheering for Koala Lu. She did such a good job. But she wasn't fast enough. In spite of all her training and all her hoping, it was Koala Claus who won the gum tree climbing. Koala Lu came second. Koala Lu went off and hid. She heard the shouts of the Bush Olympics and cried her heart out. Kipsters, where does Koala Lu go after she loses? Look closely at that picture. Yeah, she goes and hides in a tree. Why do you think she does that? Yeah, you're right. Because she's so disappointed and sad that she lost the event. 
When the first stars of evening appeared in the sky, Koala Lu crept home through the dark and up into the gum tree. Her mother was waiting for her. Before she could say a word, her mother had flung her arms around her neck and said, Koala Lu, I do love you. I always have, and I always will. And she hugged her for a very long time. Now look at Koala Lu's face. Even though she was so sad that she didn't win, and she came in second place in the gum tree climbing competition, how do you think she feels now when she heard her mother say that she loves her? You're right, she feels happy now, and it's gonna be okay, because even though she really wanted to win, and even though she prepared and tried and practiced so much, she is still happy that she did her best, and her mother still loves her. Now, Kepsters, I want you to think about Koala Lu. When you try something really hard and it doesn't work out, or you don't get it right the first time, or you don't win, because even if you don't win, you can still be proud of yourself, and you can still think about all that hard work you did. Now, Kipsters, don't forget, when you're reading, you always have to remember to think about the setting. And that's where and when the story take place. So think about where are those characters? When is it? Because that's going to help you become a better reader. I will see you later. Your teachers love you and miss you so, so much. Bye, Kipsters.